Hey guys, welcome to my tournament masterclass course for Raise Your Edge. This is Ben CB and what I'm about to teach you here in this online course is literally everything you need to know about beating online and live tournaments in these days. But before I'm going to give you a little introduction and I will also share some thoughts about the mindset you should have when watching this course, I really want to say thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the blog posts. Thank you for the emails. The feedback really helped me to make this course better and better and better. And to be honest, I'm actually a little bit jealous that this core or this kind of course was not existing when I started with poker and when I started to play poker more seriously. I know I wanted to release the course actually three or four months earlier, but since people have been sending me emails and messages and asking for, yeah, for me putting a certain topic into that course, it uh, took me at the end a little bit longer than expected. I could have even put more content in that course, but then I probably wouldn't have been finished in 2017. But as you know, as you know, if you're the owner of the cash game or the sit and go course, I will always keep the course updated. I will update the ranges. I will update the content and I will add more videos. So the moment I realize, and as you guys know, I still play high stakes. So I'm always up to date when I feel there's a certain topic that you guys need to know in order to increase your win rate. I will always update it. I will always make a new video and I will always put it to the course. So in this introduction video, I will basically introduce you. I will give you some information you really need to know. So I highly advise you guys before starting jumping into the action, watch this course. Otherwise, you might regret it later and I don't want you to have the wrong expectations. So please watch this introduction video first. So since poker is a very decision oriented game, I was thinking about, okay, how am I gonna build this course? So my goal is basically that you are able to connect the dots from preflop to the river, considering population tendency, stats, information, information, everything, so that you're gonna be able to make a proper decision within seconds. It's all about making better decisions than your opponent. In the long run, those who make better decisions are the winning player. So we can say that we either use a game theoretical approach, the quote unquote GTO, and additionally using population tendencies in order to make the best decisions. And that is the case when we are in a situations, uh, when we are in situations where we don't really have any reads about our opponent. If we have reads, if we know it's a regular or fish, we want to apply a more or execute a more exploitative approach. When to use a more exploitative approach, when to use a more game theoretical approach, this is also very, very detailed explained or very in-depth explained in my course. I will show you the merits, the disadvantages of GTO, or basically of both the exploitative and the game theoretical approach. I'm gonna start from scratch up to very, very complex spots. Take action. This is an action-based program. So the goal, the main goal of, of this course or the goal I set for myself when I created this course was I want you to become your own coach. The perfect scenario would be you're never gonna need a coach. You're never gonna need to hire a coach and uh, pay money for that or need any other kind of course, online course. So uh, yes, I'm gonna explain you the theories. I'm gonna show you real hand examples. We're gonna make analyzers. We're gonna make calculations together. So basically everything, but additionally, I was going to show you what kind of analyze can you do for yourself? What kind of methods can you apply 
in order to implement the stuff you, in your game. And this is what I have realized, especially in this kind of um, field of poker, online poker, that many poker schools are missing this uh, area. They have great content, they have great coaches, but what I'm really missing is that students really don't have an idea how to work on their game, how to improve their game, how to screen for leaks, how to fix leaks, how to exploit their opponents. And after every single course or after every single video, you're gonna get a homework. We're gonna have call to actions where I will give you specific instructions what kind of work you need to do before watching the next video. I mean, I don't have any video surveillance, but I'm advising you to do these homework, but I will also come to that later. I will also give you a little bit more, yeah, more in detailed advice how to get the maximum out of this course. What can you expect? It's basically a step-by-step -step guide from preflop or postflop to ICM. Every single course or every single topic is also divided into subtopics. So for example, preflop, we have open raising, we have free betting, we have flat calling, and so on and so forth. Postflop, we have playing in position as preflop aggressor, out of position, as a cold caller in position, out of position, as a short stack, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna bring you step to step, and also at the end, we're gonna have ICM. So when how to approach final tables, how ICM applies postflop, so all the things you need to know in the late game in order to maximize your profit. You can expect easy, applicable guidelines and rules you can implement in your game right away. So my intention was not only talking about when you can get looser or when you can tighter or when you should three bet lighter. No, I will always be very, very specific and give you um, strict guidelines or rule of thumbs you can implement in your game right away. You can literally write it down, put this piece of t uh, paper next to your computer and you can use it. And I also designed ranges for many, many spots, preflop, open raising, rejamming, open jamming, um, flatting from different positions against certain positions for different stack sizes. So you can use them right away. Obviously, um, we're also gonna have topics where you need to understand it. But I tried to make it as easy as possible. So e e um, even very complex um, theoretical things, I try to make them very easy so that you can use them right away. Yet, there will be things you need to work on. You need to do this analyze in order to understand it. Sometimes in poker, there are very exceptional spots very nasty spots and for in order to play those spots very well you need to be good prepared and you need to have a solid understanding but I'm going to teach you that as well and I'm going to show you how you can learn it as I just mentioned also you can expect ranges for most important preflop scenarios so you're basically never going to be lost again I'm going to show you when playing GTO when playing a more exploitative approach I will give you methods you can use right away. I will give you homework to working on your game. It will all, always be a healthy mix between theory and practical hands. How you can approach marginal spots, how to escape from nasty spots, and how to keep cool in those spots, how to maintain relaxed and not be confused or overwhelmed. Again, I'm gonna keep it simple, yet it still is gonna be very in-depth and you will feel like you will be one step ahead. Because when you understand the game, you will understand way better what your opponent is actually doing. I will give you all my secrets, tips, and experiences I have gathered throughout my entire poker career. Not only for myself, also from others. When you're someone that followed me for quite some time now, you might have heard that I'm a big fan of surrounding yourself with like-minders. And I'm working together for many, many years with basically the best poker players in the world, with the best coaches. And I'm always down for um, session reviews and exchanging thoughts and getting feedback. And 
you will basically benefit from it. You need to know the rules in terms of poker. You should be aware about the very fundamentals of poker. Variance, tilt, bank management. And you have no idea what variance means. You have, you're tilting, you're spewing it off. Um, my personal advice is don't play poker. If you have the intention of making money with poker and you're someone that is on tilt, don't play poker. If you want to change that, if you want to work on that, you're very welcome to keep going and to basically go on a journey with us. And tilt is something you need to have under control. It's not possible, even though you understand the fundamentals, you have a really good idea about the strategies, but when you're tilting, it's not gonna be possible to be a winning player. Tilt has different forms, even just playing your B game is already a little form of tilt. But when you're this type of guy that gets on monkey tilt, when you get sucked out, dude, you should better work on that. Start with play money, get your tilt problems under control, and then come back. You should be experienced with online poker. You should have at least already played a few thousand hands. You should know how online poker works. Or when you are more a live player and you wanna travel a lot and play live tournaments, that's also good, but then you should be experienced a bit with live poker. And you should be dedicated to make at least a solid monthly four digit and higher side income. If you're a beginner and your intention, hey, no, I'm just, you know, it's, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a part-time job and, job and I, I just wanna make a little bit of money with poker or you're a recreational player and you say to yourself, okay, it's just a hobby, but I don't wanna lose money with my hobby. So I wanna be a break-even player. Okay, I'm fine with that. When you're happy with it, that's all right, but be clear about your goals. If you wanna at least make a few thousand bucks per month, then I think you will get a lot of value from this course. There is no limit. Again, that's basically everything how I approach poker. And as you know, I play the highest stakes for a very long time now. And when you do what I'm saying here, I can promise you in a very good way. And it's very likely that you're gonna be able to beat high stakes tournaments. What you should not expect, generalizations. This is something I try to avoid as much as possible. Sometimes in poker, as you know, there are certain spots. We can basically do everything. We can, we can raise, we can check, we can check raise, we can bet. Um, there we cannot avoid to generalize a little bit. But in general, I try to be as specific as possible to give you instructions, to give you, or let's say guidelines you can hold on every single time. So what I was also missing a little bit in other courses from the several poker schools, um, they were basically just teaching these kind of things. Yeah, you know, when your opponent is, is, is loose, you can be lighter and this board you should see bet more and on the river you should fold more and on turn you should just call your your range but there will never be like okay but but how much looser how much tighter so my goal was always showing you how much you can be tighter i want to give you specific numbers what kind of numbers you should look in your opponent's stats so I'm not just saying you yeah if your opponent is loser no i'm going to say if your opponent is raising more than for example 30 percent of hands you should forbid 15 percent just a random example here and then i'm going to show you the range you're going to construct the ranges together i'm going to give you the guidelines i'm going to give you the rule of thumbs it's not always possible but i tried to make it as often as possible i'm not going to do random hand reviews as i said it's a healthy mix between theory practical hand reviews analyzes calculations um yeah and here and there also i'm going to give you also advice regarding mindset it's not a magic pill for sure not as you know you need to work a lot you cannot just expect to watch it and then you're going to be the uber crusher <laughs> yet it is a very it's it's probably the closest thing to a magic pill there's just so many things you can use right away but don't expect to, to just watch it you're, uh, within two weeks and then you start crushing the highest stakes or you just turn into 
uh, winning player out of nowhere. It's it's not gonna happen. And here, a little advice: if you hear something like um, a magical seven-step course that turns you into winning winning player, be very very careful. Usually, you should be aware that every content you soak up, yes, it's just theory, but you need to take the action in order to to execute and to do these things. So yeah, we're not gonna have incredibly long theory talks here and there, I try to explain it very in depth. So if there's something, if you're a bit more advanced and you're already very familiar with certain topics, you can speed up a bit, that's totally fine. You can pick those things you need to work on. Um, again, it's very structured. Also in the course itself, there's always an overview of what you can expect and then you can just, you can jump around whatever you want to work on. Um, but if you want to go the entire journey, I highly recommend you watching everything from the beginning until the end, even though you might be very advanced. What I've experienced, and I'm also coaching a lot of very high, basically also super high roller players. And I can tell you that even them, they have no idea actually how to construct the preflop range. They're just basically playing more or less from feeling. Don't be, don't be too good or don't think, yeah, no, I don't want to watch everything. Do it. From my experience, my personal advice here, I have experienced that a lot, that even very good players have a lot of flaws and a lot of mistakes and leaks in, uh, in their fundamentals. So I didn't make this course to come up smart, smart to make friends or to be nice or yeah, or just to put myself in the spotlight. Most of you guys, probably know I really appreciate my privacy and I hope I can keep that um, but I teach you ex ex exactly based on my experience and, and based on everything I've gathered throughout my career so I be teach you exactly what you need to, to do to get rich by playing poker in these days that's it and I really enjoy that uh, I've found out that I really enjoy teaching things, working together with ambitious players. I was always someone that liked to, to work together with people. Also during my younger years, I used to be almost a professional football player. I always liked to work in a team, work together with others. Um, I really always enjoyed that. At some point I realized, hey, that's what I want to do. And I do what I like. And I think you can benefit from it. But really, it's for you if you are serious about becoming a crusher. If you're not serious, then this is really a waste of your time. Um, you should have a goal, even though it's, yep, yeah, I'm a recreational player, I want to become a recreational player or make at least a little bit of side come. That is your goal, that's totally fine, but you should have a certain goal. You, you, should, you should be willing to change. So this is for you if you're really serious, if you really want to change and say, you know what, why not me? Because that's what I'm gonna ask you here today. Why not you? The MTT program is for you if you're saying, why not you? Why can't you win more? Why can't I move up from low to high stakes? So this course is supporting you in your journey and what I try is to bring it to the highest limits possible. Everything is step-by-step step and all spots covered, which are important these days in order to crush mid and high stakes. So be open-minded towards new things and I hope you're ready to win more. So the question is how to implement this stuff. I, I've been talking about that already quite a bit, what you can expect, um, speaking about the call to action buttons. But really, there is no how. A lot of people might hear of this and then say something like this, okay, I get it, but how? How do I change? How do I improve? There's no how, do or do not. It's, it is that simple, but it's not gonna be easy. Just trust in the process and the results will come. It is not easy because you might feel overwhelmed. It's gonna be a lot of content. And I might even open your eyes what, how many things you did wrong. Or you might even feel as a loser because again, I will open your eyes at some point and you realize how much you did wrong. But trust in the process, enjoy the process and enjoy the change. And you, you might also feel, oh, damn, I, I make so many mistakes. I'm not perfect. You don't need to be perfect. Remember, in poker, 
Poker is a decision-oriented game. So the only thing that matters is you want to make less mistakes compared to your opponent. Micro patience versus micro speed. So as I said, trust in the process, give yourself time. It might take one to two years until you until you reach the top in poker or even to reach the freedom you want to achieve. So micro speed means on your day-to-day -day work, you have to be fast with analyzing hands, playing, grinding, getting your shit done, making reviews, getting feedback, posting in the forum, um, trying to get in touch with other poker players, answering other poker players to questions, and not postponing it to tomorrow or next week, next week because you want to watch an episode of, I don't know, Homeland. You want to be quick in your day-to-day -day work. But your vision of becoming a poker pro or making more money with poker and you want to achieve in life, you're not going to build it in a few weeks or months. And so many people have it reversed. In the day-to-day, -day, they're slow and they're postponing shit and they're lazy as shit. And in the macro, they want to make more money and they want to win the sunny main on the next weekend. But it's not going to happen. So don't trust in luck that at some point you might big in a big tournament. It's not going to happen. If your RI is somewhere around 0% or 10%, the variance is so high. And it's going to be very unlikely that you big a tournament um, ever. Ever. Okay. If you have, if you don't understand certain fundamentals and certain things, especially when it comes to ICM in the late game, you're burning money. Because especially in the, uh, in the late game, there where it's about building a decent ROI and taking down a tournament and destroying a final table. But that needs time. So on your day to day, be be quick, be fast, get the shit done in the micro. Give yourself time. Be patient and don't reverse it. So the goal of what I'm teaching is becoming, you, you should become your own coach. You should know how you can improve your game, how you can assess your game, how you can screen your game for leagues. And also how you can rebuild your confidence and hardship. You can do with this course here, you can do with it whatever you want. I don't need to convince you, it's here. That's the way how you can make money with poker in these days. I have played millions of hands analyzed thousands of hands and hundreds of databases. And now I'm basically handing it over to you and you can make a choice. You don't need to, but I love poker. I love this game, even though I've, I don't know, it, it becomes so much of a routine, yet I still love it. It's my passion and you can benefit from it. So here I'm giving it to you, you can take it and change something and achieve the freedom you want. Okay, now I'm gonna give you also a few uh, advice regarding the mindset you should adapt. Um, it's not only necessary for this course, but in general for poker, for your life, when, a, when you wanna achieve something, when you wanna achieve this freedom um, for business, you wanna build something, you wanna build a company, I think, these kind of beliefs I'm going to show you right now, they're mandatory. And I also met very inspirational people throughout my career, not only in poker, also in business and very inspirational students that are working in big companies and have created big companies and I have very inspirational conversations. And this is also something what I have learned that you can adapt or you can apply so many things you learn here also in your life. So I'm gonna give you here already a few advice regarding the mindset you should um, adapt. So first of all, um, surround yourself with like-mindedness. Um, people are your greatest resource. This is one of my main beliefs in life. Everything I have achieved was because of other people. I mean, obviously I did the work, I had the work ethics, I put in the hours, I grinded, I hustled, but I, it would have never been possible if I would have get, gotten feedback from others, if they wouldn't have helped me and supported me in hardship. And dude, there's no exception. Please, 
if you know, say yourself, ah, oh, but where can I find them? Dude, then seriously, this is stupid. We have our opportunities in these days, in 2017, 2018, they are unlimited. We have Skype, forum, blogs, and live tournaments, even on live tournaments. If you're a live player and if you see someone that plays solid, just after the tournament, go, go to him and say, hey man, What's up? You know, I saw you play very good, man. What's your name? Or how long do you play poker? Just be, be open for opportunities. If I wouldn't have been open for opportunities, I would probably still grind seven dollar tournaments. But you, the fact I was basically hustling the threats. I was looking for people that have the same dedication as I have. And look, now I'm a member of Team Gatsby Campino, and we all started basically grinding low and mid stakes sit and goes we met up on friday nights where others went out and get wasted and we analyzed hands and talked about our game everything and we all had one vision we all had one goal uh, we want to become better but but obviously there were also people that didn't support us that might also i mean there were also poker players but they were negative they didn't have the same dedication as we had and we just got rid of them and at the end, now we have a main core of, I don't know, eight, nine people that are very successful in poker. Some of them are the best poker players in the world right now. And this doesn't come from nothing. So, and when I think back, I just, I just believed in the process. I knew I'm going to find the people that are like miners that are similar to, to me. And when you find someone that has the same goals as you are, as determined as you are, suddenly one plus one gets eight and not two. So the synergy effects are tremendously. People are your greatest resource or people, yeah, it's, it's one of my main, main beliefs. Get yourself around people who have similar visions in life, not only necessary in poker, okay? Um, now I was talking a lot about poker. You also need poker uh, people in life that yes support you and also support your goals and, and poker but also support you in life in general and these people should be should have similar visions in life they will not knock on your door and say hey here i am so be active take action be open-minded and just trust in the process you basically want to create a team of warriors and I was compared with, it's, it's kind of like a war. It's such a long process and there's gonna be so much blood. You're gonna, there's gonna be so much pain. Poker can be such a pain in the ass. I know the, the variance is so brutal. I saw so many downswings and I have experienced so many downswings, but I also saw uh, even harder or crazier downswings. So, and you might cry, you might be frustrated, you might be knocked down. But at the end, winners or champions stand up one more time. And so becoming a poker player, is, it's, it's a war. Becoming successful, it is a fucking war. And it's a campaign. And you are the general and you're in, you in charge for your army. And in these days, becoming successful is something, unless you're a wizard or you're a genius, you need people around you. So now it's your choice. You can also stick to your friends that go out and drink and just want to live a um, ABC life. It's fine as if you're happy with that. But when you're complaining that you want to change something in your life and you're still, you're still hanging around with those people that are not good for you, then do it. Then sorry. But then you need to change. So say bye to night naysayers if there are people that are laughing about your goals and they don't trust in you, they're low energy and they're complaining people, get rid of them, no matter what. No matter, no matter if you know them for 20 years or 30 years, it doesn't matter. And this is not selfish. If they're not good to you and you don't feel good and you have to justify, um, get rid of them. You don't, you don't have to justify at all. It's your life, it's your goal and you can do whatever you want. And if you have the right people in life, they will understand. They will not question it. They will support you no matter what. For me personally, regret drives the shit out of me. And I don't want you to do the mistake and think in 10, 20 years when you look back, damn, I should have taken it more serious. I should have taken more action. 
But now when you try for one or two years and you might fail for whatever reason, at least you can say you tried and you're gonna be happy about it. Most people don't even try. So the first step that you try here is already a good step, but it's only the very first step, but at least you try. And I'm glad and I appreciate that. Giving value trumps leeching value. Be the kind of person you do want in your life. Stop the fucking leeching mentality. Stop, I want, I want, I want a poker buddy. I want that you do this and hey, please do this and this and I want this. No, focus on what you can bring to the table. That doesn't necessarily have to do with poker. What matters is motivation, positivity, open-mindedness and dedication. Yes, it's cool to hang around with better poker players, but it's not necessarily mandatory. I would always pick the newbie that has zero knowledge in poker, but a great fucking mindset and wants to learn and grow and is positive over an advanced you that is, mm, 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 I, mm, I don't want to, mm, mm, that is lazy and negative, that doesn't want to work on this game, he thinks he's the best player in the world. You're not learning from them anything. Use your time wisely. Don't choose short-term mediocre comfort over long-term mediocre comfort. Put in the hours now. It's gonna be a journey. Trust in the process. It's super important. And the results will come. So how to get the maximum out of it? Take your time. You decide the tempo. Don't watch the videos for the sake of watching them, all right? You should watch them for the sake of learning the shit, for the sake of implementing it in your game. And the video is gonna be quite long, so they're gonna be one hour videos, even two hour videos. Put them in parts. Watch the first 15, 20 minutes, work on that, and jump to the next one. At the end, you're gonna have a big call to action, where I'm gonna give you an exercise where you basically have to do everything. We have to do a big exercise where all things are considered. So you need to have a high self-awareness and high self-reflection. When you feel you don't really get it, then watch it again, watch the third or fourth time. You decide the tempo, take your time. And if something you already know this, then you might watch it only once. So yeah, again, the videos are quite long. Watch them step by step. Also, maybe the videos multiple time. Open a di or open a blog or write a diary. And this is one of the most effective tools you can apply. I mean, it's scientifically proven that everything we write down um, best would be handwritten. But I think for the sake of documentary, of also clearness, do it online, open a blog. I mean, you can also write it down. It's totally fine, it's up to you. But writing a diary or, or writing a blog is so powerful. You can keep track of your progress. You can get input and feedback from others. And you can also take a look back in the diary when there's a spot you have already analyzed uh, a few months ago, you can just go back and take a look at the results and the implications you made. And then you are basically gonna remember what you have been working on and what uh, what the impl implications were, uh, implications were. So here, diary blog, super, super powerful. Keep track of your progress, use the power of our community, not only of our community, I mean, the poker community is so big. There's so many people um, you can work with. Yeah, make use of it. I already mentioned it, sacrifice. Eat shit for two years and eat kavi for the rest of your life. And this is something uh, when, I were, when I was talking to very successful entrepreneurs and um, young business starters who are very successful now, they sacrificed. All of them sacrificed. And it was not luck. I also sacrificed when I started playing poker for many years, two, three years. During my college, I think over three or four years, I have attended two or three college parties and we had every single week, week two or three college parties. Every week, somebody was asking me, hey, you wanna go out, you wanna hang out? No, At this point, the only thing that was important to me was poker and my degree. 
I wanted to get it done as fast as possible in order to then fo focus more on poker. I definitely didn't have this cool, relaxed, I mean, not necessarily relaxed, but this crazy college time as others said. I think mine was super boring and even when it was super warm, everybody was chilling on the lake. I was hustling, I was putting in the hours, I was grinding and I was outworking everybody. So sacrifice, dude, eat shit for two years and then eat cover for the rest of your life. Stop complaining. I mean, I'm not mad at you if you spend hours on YouTube watching cat videos. I'm not mad at you if you play StarCraft all day long. And I'm not mad at you if you go, if you rather want to go out with your buddies and get wasted or watch a football game. I'm mad at you if you're doing that and you're negative and you're complaining why you haven't been in a tournament yet and everybody else is making more money with poker than you do. Why you're not living your dream, yada, yada, yada. My stuff is for the complainers who don't realize they have the time to fix it. They just have to change their behavior. And I mentioned earlier, spend your time wisely. Don't spend your time on bullshit you don't need. Don't be this consumer idiot who's watching TV, watching videos, doing all that shit that doesn't bring you anywhere. Or stop complaining. You have these, those two options. So stop complaining. It is you. It's not a rig poker site. Know your opponents from Banana Island who suck you out again and again and again. Nor is it the cash out doom switch. So stop complaining. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the willpower and determination for this course. It's gonna be epic. Take it serious and then see you on the other side. That was Ben CB for the introduction mindset tournament class. See you soon guys. Bye-bye.